So, Evan, on Twitter, I mentioned that we were going to be talking about SurveyMonkey and this new IPO, and I asked if people had any questions. As always, the internet disappointed. Um, we have Market Foolery host Chris Hill immediately chiming in, and this is a five-parter. So get ready. One, why'd they pick Monkey for the company name? Two, aren't dolphins the most intelligent animal on Earth? Three, did Survey Dolphin even make it through the first round of voting? Four, the company's HQ is in San Mateo, California. Not a question. Five, <laughs> what they don't have dolphins in the Pacific Ocean. And so uh, I think Chris is having some fun here, but it, but it does beg the question: uh, Why are they called Survey Monkey? So so why don't we briefly touch on this? Because CEO Xander Lurie has mentioned this actually publicly in Quora, this this great platform for asking people questions. Uh, you want to take us one of? Yeah, so Lurie answered on Cora. Uh, he was kind of talking about how in the in the dot com bubble, everyone had these kind of weird internet names, uh, and I mean these names sound normal today because they've been around forever, uh, like Yahoo or eBay or Amazon. He even mentioned Amazon, but uh, yeah, so they had all these different names, and you know. And again, this company is 20 years old. <laughs> so he says they were looking for something fresh that also described the product, and but it was also an online survey tool. And what is curious and uses tools, monkeys. So <laughs> survey monkeys is how they, what they came up with. I think that's kind of a silly justification or story or whatever, but. It is what it is. You know what, Evan? I think in 20 years, a lot of people are going to be looking at the Shopify's and uh, Spotify's of the world and be like, "How come every company was ending in IFY?" And you know, putting all these weird names in there, like Lyft with a Y. Well, it's because domain names were bought up at that point, right? Like people saw, people had to start getting creative with how they were naming their companies because they needed domains that fit whatever they were going to name the business. Or throw an R at the end of something. Yes, so that's popular now. Of course, right? <laughs> and and so so I think it's the same thing. It's just a, a, a bygone era in tech, if you will. Um, sign of the times. Sign of the times. 